Where'd you get that? Let me have that. Hey, let me have that. Come here. Come here. Good morning. Welcome to day 22. Oh, we need to start out by seeing if the basil survived 30 degrees last night. See, I've got it under this wool blanket. You can get these at Harbor Freight. Let's see. I know basil is not frost or freeze hardy at all. Hey, they look pretty good. Of course, the kale survived. The kale probably loved it. So what are we going to do today? Well, after I finished filming yesterday, I came in and stacked all this. We still have this big guy to deal with, and nobody contacted me wanting to do anything with it, so I'm going to try to do something with it. I've been reading the book Ivanhoe, which is a great book, and as I said to my brother, uh, I'd love to have a quarter staff. Of course, they're like six to eight feet long and typically oak. That's not what we've got here. This is, what, maybe two and a half feet long, uh, and it's not oak, it's hickory but I still want to make something out of it so I'd like to try to make another medieval weapon or Victorian weapon as well a truncheon in other words a police baton it's about the right length the wood type is perfect and it would give me something good to do with this but first and foremost we gotta get it split out Okay, it looks like the side that I picked is going to be about the cleanest. We've got a little bit of a bow there, but I don't think it's going to matter. That piece doesn't look quite as good. Over here, you got the big knot at the bottom. But if we imagine this straight down through, you have a little bit of character here, but I think it'd be a decent piece. If we can't work this bend into it, then we'll make a shorter baton like this but i'd love to have it full length so what we got to do now is make this it should be easier a lot of the pressure is already out of the piece of wood let's split that and see what we find So that's not that bad. I think that's going to work. Now is when we're to the delicate work. Because I want to get more split off. So that I'm not trying to remove it with a chisel or something. It would be a whole lot of wood there to remove. I don't have a lathe. So everything that we have to do here has to be kind of the slow and brutish way.
So it took a lot of tools. You can tell when you got that many sledgehammers and axes and wedges and all of that out. It was a job, but I'm happy with what we have so far. Maybe we'll end up cutting it off here and making a shorter piece. But I can tell by the way that was uh, coming off with this that we got some pretty straight grain here. It wasn't running in or running out. Wherever I put this uh, and batoned it down through, it seemed to follow that track. So what we will do tomorrow is take this down to the workshop where we can actually put it in a vise. We we'll use this as a big draw knife to remove uh, a lot of material. Uh, and then we'll move to the smaller draw knife. And from there we'll start to carve a little bit. I want a decent handle on it. Might work well handle length about like this. Uh, and the baton all that top. So thanks for watching. We'll see you on part two of this project tomorrow.